welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title of today's video, this is literally going to be a get it all done, all kinds of stuff. I've got my my daughter screaming, yes. I've got my grocery order on the way, then I'm gonna do the haul of that and then put it all away, kind of go over our meal plan for the week. I've got some of the random stuff in the house that you don't think to clean all the time. I've got a lot of that to do, some organizing to do, just pretty much everything. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and get it all done. I have a little to-do list here just to keep me on track and some of it's stuff I have to do like online research, things like that. But that's just kind of the gist of how I'm staying on track today. I do have to put away all the dry dishes and always ignore that. That's just because Gwen climbs too much. But I am going to actually scrub this today and do a little pod in there. I'll show you guys that. And I'm going to scrub the top of this today because it's really bad. Again, I'm going to get that done. Oh, and whatever that is on my counter for my kids. Yep. Yeah. That too. This closet is also on my list. I organized it several months ago, but the games are still fine, the books are kind of fine, but then this, and all the way down, is just awful. So, yeah, she likes to play in there, so that's on the list today. This mess is also on my list today because it's another thing that Declan likes to destroy, and he likes to play with my reusable bags over here, and then we all just kind of throw our shoes instead of being organized, so this is also something I'll be tackling. My kitchen drawers are an unorganized mess, as Gwen keeps closing them. But like this one, she likes to help put the silverware away, so now this one has been just a mess. I'm gonna try and do these, but as you can tell, she doesn't like me opening the drawers. Our junk drawer is a disaster, so I'm also gonna try those. And then here is another problem. My spice cabinet. It's just awful, and actually, I saw that there's empty spices in here. So this is another thing that's on my list of organized and all that today. Groceries have arrived. Yes, this is a full week. I think it's about actually a week and a half, so this is quite a big order. The groceries are all out and I have them somewhat sorted so I can do this real fast and then put them away. It is July in Florida. And Gwen's gonna talk your ear off. So I need some more laundry stuff. I'm trying these out, never tried them before. If you have, please let me know. They were like the cheapest laundry beads I could find. Diapers for Gwen, some random snacks, bananas, blueberries, cookies, pretzels, things like that. Baking stuff that I needed. This is actually for a Harry Potter thing for this coming weekend, so keep an eye for that. And then spices, I was out of my complete seasoning. So there it is if you guys need to see it again. Montreal steak, we need a little more cereal for breakfast and they brought me the big bag. <laughs> So we're gonna, need, we're gonna have that for a while. Another loaf of bread, a few canned vegetables, two big old 18 counts of eggs, more milk, and then this is for several different recipes for the heavy cream. Okay, back to the dinners. So we're doing tacos one night, and yes, some of the stuff, I have the stuff, like I have the meat already for this in my freezer. Then a ravioli night, and they brought me the big bag again of this, so we have extra. There's a few french fries back there and some potatoes for other things. We're doing an Asian night, a meatloaf night, a grilled cheese and tomato soup night. This is for Texas toast pizzas, and we're gonna do some Caesar salad with that. And then this is for my Instant Pot, the whole chicken I make with the rice and stuff. Okay, but I think that covers everything. There were a few items missing in my order. I can't remember what they are right now, but one of them was a smaller pack of beef, and one of them was a pack of chicken tenders. I do know that. So I will have to get that here a different way. But yeah, there's the grocery haul. If you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, please hit that subscribe button if you're not already for my channel. I would love to have you guys and have you in the community. We do have all of the crazy holiday shenanigans coming up soon and I'm so excited to share that with you guys because that's pretty much why I do this. I do this because if there's information either I know or I come across that will make even one person's day happier, easier, more whimsical, then I feel like I've done my part. So that is why I create these videos. I hope you guys love them as much as I love creating them for you guys. And if you're not a part of my channel yet, please subscribe and join.
dishwasher is really noisy, so I apologize for that. But the groceries are all finally put away. I do have this front countertop completely clean and stuff, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is just finish cleaning off all the countertops and my cat dishes back there in that little corner. I'm gonna wash those up real fast so that way I can go and work on the drawers. <laughs> this mark on my counter is from a popsicle a root beer flavored popsicle and it took forever to try and get this thing off and that's why I had to bring out the razor blade if you do have one of these and you try to use it on your countertops just make sure you don't go straight down into your countertop you have to slide it across your countertop and be very careful Oh, this, this is the stuff she does while I clean. Opens up all the drawers. Oh, there she goes again over there. Really? Close it. Close the door. Close those. Close them. Thank you. Baking soda and Dawn is the best thing for my stainless steel sink. It's just what I found that works best. You can also put a little vinegar in there. That does wonders too. If you want your sink really shiny, dry it when you're done and it will just be beautiful. You will see me in here. I'm about to use something in my dishwasher. I think they're called dots or drops or something like that. I saw them on YouTube. Someone else used them. I'm honestly not that impressed. I don't smell anything clean coming out of my dishwasher. It just, it doesn't feel like I got the job done as well as when I just cut up some lemons and put those down there or a few other cleaners that I've tried. Cleaning the kitchen, and this is how I find the girls. Wrapped up in blankets, like it's winter or something. Hi. And playing Animal Crossing. Oh, she sent you a greeting. Enjoy.
the drawers I'm working on, I'm trying my best to get them organized. And as you can tell, I do have dividers in this drawer and in my silverware drawer, but I have, these are really small drawers, surprisingly enough, and I don't have enough drawers in this kitchen for all the crap. I mean, yeah. I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to kitchen supplies. As you guys have seen, it's just one of my things. I love the kitchen, I love to cook. So organizing these drawers is a nightmare, but I am having something put in my garage to give me a little extra storage for stuff like this. organized in there as far as I go. I know it still looks like a hot mess, but it's a lot more organized as far as my opinion. For the cabinets I need to do, I'm gonna start with the easier ones, which is the shoe one, because this whole area is fine. It's just down there, that's the mess. So I'm gonna start with this one. Hopefully it only takes me like 10 minutes, but it shouldn't be too bad, it's just shoes and bags.
Okay, so we've done the cleaning portion, we've done the organizing portion, now we're gonna move on to some of the food and stuff for today. And one thing I'm gonna show you, if you have crescent roll dough, you can do almost anything. I'm gonna make a dessert out of this one, but we've done savory ones where you literally just put almost like a garlic butter over the top, you can stuff them with cheese, you can do so much with this, and today we're gonna turn them into cinnamon rolls. Okay, so all you need is the one pack of the croissants, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Half a cup of the brown sugar, three teaspoons of this, mix it together, put it on each little triangle of the dough, roll it up, and bake it for like 10 minutes. That's it. I get asked all the time about this little thing that's in my brown sugar container. It is actually a terracotta stone. It came with a container, but you can just get a little terracotta stone soak it in water for like 15 to 30 minutes and then put it into your brown sugar container and your brown sugar won't harden. But if you don't have a terracotta stone, you can also just put a piece of bread. That does work too. So this is the color that you're looking for on them, this nice little golden color. And then we still have to make the icing real fast. Powdered sugar, just like a few little heaping spoonfuls. And then just a splash of the milk. See, I said splash and I went overboard. See, that's too thin. So then you add more powdered Now, I don't know about the rest of you, I know I've been missing Starbucks, but I'm not risking getting sick for it, so we found out how to do it at home. This is gonna be the close equivalent to a mocha frappuccino. This is three quarters of a cup of coffee, as strong as you want it, and then in there, while it was so hot, we already melted three tablespoons of sugar. Yes, I said three tablespoons. This is two cups of ice. You're gonna use one cup of milk, you can use skim, whole, that's on you. Then you're gonna need three tablespoons of chocolate syrup, and then this is just for the top also to make it look pretty, but this goes in. So, pour in your coffee. We're just gonna eyeball the three tablespoons. But that's like one, that's like two, and that's like three. Screw your top on, and then just pop it on your little blender. We'll shake it up first so the chocolate mix in. It's like all you need is like five or six pulses. And then there we go. And then just a little whipped cream and chocolate drizzle and you've got the same thing. Without having to go and pay $7 and without having to go get sick. So I would say this is a win. I'm gonna start dinner. I decided this month to do something a little different, and yes, I decided part of the way through the month, but we're gonna do themed dinners for the rest of July and see how it works. This was the easiest thing in the world when I had to make my list for grocery shopping because it was already just pre-done, ready to go. And then like tonight, let me see if I have this thing in focus. Tonight is tomato soup and grilled cheese for soup salad and sandwich night. And I'm gonna show you the easiest Grilled cheese and tomato soup. Okay. This is the easiest tomato soup recipe I've ever seen. I'm gonna go tomato soup. 
because you're literally using pasta sauce, but you use the ragu. You don't want one with like all the chunks. You want one that's pureed like this stuff is. And then chicken broth and heavy cream. That's it. For one recipe, I'm doubling. You need a pint of this, a third of a cup of the heavy cream, and half a cup of the chicken stock in a pot. Simmer it together for a little bit, all of maybe 10 to 15 minutes, and it's done. Basic grilled cheese 101, bread, cheese, and butter. This little process stuff, the kids like it. I'm not a big fan, but that's traditional grilled cheese. Butter the outsides, cheese in between, put it on a griddle. Now, you can step it up and actually use real cheese, which we're also gonna do. We've done the sharp cheddar, we've done a mixture of cheese, pepper jack in there is actually really, really good. And then if you really wanna step it up, butter on the outside, Dijon mustard on the inside, and add pepperoni in there as well with the cheese and grill that up, that's delicious. All right, they're cooking. But if you have a large family, Get an extra large griddle, because eight at one time, that's fantastic. And then this is one for my husband. It's got the pepperoni and the cheese in there. So yeah, dinner. Dinner's done, dessert's done. The baby's in the shower because she's covered head to toe in tomato soup. It's adorable. But dinner went over really, really well. The kids really enjoyed this recipe. They thought it was a lot of fun for the dipping. So that will help if your kids like to do stuff like that. This is an easy, very fast dinner and dessert if you want to do that too for your family. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night.